Here is a quick guide to using the T2125 and associated worksheets in QBOA ProTax. Let's review the T2125 business activity statement in the T1 ProTax module. First, we are going to choose a return and go view return. In order to access the T2125 activity statement, you can use the go to search form here. You're going to type in T2125 and then you're going to select go to T2125. In order to access the actual business activity worksheet, you must click on details. Then it brings you to the business activity worksheet. In the first part, part one, you have the identification. So your name, business name, uh, business number if, if you have one, business address, fiscal period, uh, including main product of service and industry code, which are all selected here. Um, also the, the percentage of partnership, ship, if you're a sole proprietor, then it's 100%. If you share with either a spouse or another partner, you will indicate this percentage um, a bit lower um, in, in the partner section. If you are a partnership um, with either your spouse or another partner, uh, there is a section re reserved to indicate uh, the additional uh, partnership. Here is where you're going to in enter uh, internet business activity if there is one. Um, if not, then you're going to enter your business income here. Um, you can also enter professional income in part three if you have professional income. If not, then you enter the business income, but not both. It's either or. Uh, you can enter the gross business or professional income. This is additional uh, for for additional uh, gross. No. Now, if we continue to scroll down, you'll see a cost of goods sold and gross profit. So any additional purchases, subcontracts, wages are all entered here. And then part four is the net income before adjustment. So this is where you're going to enter your expenses, either for advertising, meals, uh, insurance, interest, business taxes, memberships, office expenses, um, utilities, um, for automobile expenses, so motor vehicle expenses, this is a different worksheet. It's a business auto worksheet, which you can use the go to source arrow here in order to access the go to source. So by clicking go to source, it will open up the business auto expense worksheet. Here's where you're going to select the T2125 from the drop down, and then the tax years will autofill based on what's already in the T2125. Then you're going to scroll down in order to enter the expenses such as fuel and oil, insurance, license, maintenance and repairs, and any uh, CCA that you might have on a vehicle. So chart C is for capital cost allowance on motor vehicles. From here, after completing the, the expenses for the motor vehicles, you can click back to bring you to the motor vehicle summary or back to the T2125. Note that some worksheets in the T1 ProTax module cannot be printed. Some can, some cannot. The trick on knowing which one can and which ones cannot is click on PDF form view. This will allow you to see the PDF form of how it's going to be printed. So for the motor vehicle expense, expenses, it can be printed. For um, capital cost allowance, so for CCA on items from uh, T2125, so let's say the T21 CCA, the summary, and the CCA details. So the details themselves of each uh, capital cost allowance based on whatever category you are using. If I click on PDF form, it says PDF preview unavailable for this forms, which means this worksheet cannot be printed. However, the T2125 CCA summary can be. As you can see, it's a little, it's empty for myself, but this is how it's going to print. So using the PDF form view once again will allow you to see which worksheets and forms can or cannot be printed. Again, if we go through here, you'll get the, a message warning on the top saying PDF preview unavailable for this form. So now if you try to print it, so under return actions, print this form or letter, you can see that the print this form is grayed out, so it's not accessible.
So now if you toggle to the, CC, the T2125 CCA summary and you go to return actions and print this form, it is accessible and you'll see the PDF uh, printout will download in the bottom of your screen. So as mentioned before, any forms that have this message PDF preview unavailable for this form will not print and under the return actions, it will be grayed out. For additional support or information about the QBOA ProTax options, please visit our website.